What's going on everyone? This is Kevin Breeze here, and in this video we're going to be comparing the LG Phoenix 4 to the iPhone XS Max. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay, so the LG Phoenix 4 is a prepaid smartphone, and this particular phone is locked to AT&T prepaid, but you can buy this for $59.99. This iPhone XS Max is unlocked and actually it works on all carriers so it'll work on both GSM and CDMA carriers in the United States. So that means that's going to work on T-Mobile, AT&T, Verizon and Sprint and other smaller carriers. So that's great to see. But the iPhone XS Max is available for $1,099. So basically you can buy at least like 10 to 12 LG Phoenix 4s for the price of one iPhone XS Max. So it'll be interesting to see if the iPhone XS Max is really that much better than the LG Phoenix 4, or who knows, maybe the LG Phoenix 4 is better than the iPhone XS Max. Let's go over it now. So on the LG Phoenix 4, you get a 5-inch display, and on the iPhone XS Max, you get a 6.5-inch display. On the LG Phoenix 4, there is no notch on the top, and on the iPhone XS Max, there is a notch on the top. So you have to decide which you prefer. But one thing is very clear here that on the LG Phoenix 4, there are much larger bezels on the device, especially on the top and bottom, than there are on the iPhone XS Max. You can see especially lining up the bottom of both displays here, how much larger the display really is than the iPhone XS Max. Now on the LG Phoenix 4, you get a 720p display here. And on the iPhone XS Max, you get kind of a weird resolution, but basically it's higher quality than 1080p. So it comes in at 1,242 by 2,688. Moving up to the top here, on the LG Phoenix 4, you get a 5 megapixel front facing camera. And on the iPhone XS Max, you get a 7 megapixel front facing camera. On the LG Phoenix 4, you get 16 gigabytes of internal storage with the ability to expand that with a micro SD card. And on the iPhone XS Max, you get 64 gigabytes of storage with no ability to expand that with an SD card. On the LG Phoenix 4, there is no wireless charging, but on the iPhone XS Max, you do get wireless charging. Now, neither of these devices have a fingerprint sensor. This button on the back here is actually just to power on the LG Phoenix 4. But on the iPhone XS Max, you do get Face ID, which is really awesome. It actually works really well, and it allows you to unlock your device and verify other things such as payments using just your face. But moving over to the rear here, on the LG Phoenix 4, you get an 8 megapixel rear facing camera, and on the iPhone XS Max, you get dual 12 megapixel cameras. You also get an LED flash on both devices here, and on the iPhone XS Max, you get portrait mode on both the rear and front cameras, which is really awesome, as that's a feature that I actually use quite a bit. On the LG Phoenix 4, we get 2 gigabytes of RAM, and on the iPhone XS Max, we get 4 gigabytes of RAM. On the LG Phoenix 4, we get a Qualcomm Snapdragon 425 processor, and on the iPhone XS Max, we get an Apple A12 Biotic processor. On the LG Phoenix 4, video recording tops out at 1080p at 30 frames per second, and on the iPhone XS Max, video recording tops out at 4K at 60 frames per second. On the LG Phoenix 4, we get a 2,500 milliamp hour battery, and on the iPhone XS Max, we get a 3,179 milliamp hour battery. So we get a larger battery with the iPhone XS Max. And as far as software goes, on the LG Phoenix 4, we get Android 7 Nougat, and on the iPhone XS Max, we get iOS 12. So like I mentioned before, on the LG Phoenix 4, we get a 5-inch display, and on the iPhone XS Max, we get a 6.5 inch display. Then moving up to the top, we have the front facing cameras and the earpieces. Then moving down to the bottom, we have the Android navigation buttons on the LG Phoenix 4, but on the iPhone XS Max, we have that new swiping gesture. Taking a look at the left side of both devices, on the LG Phoenix 4, we have the volume rockers and that's it. And on the iPhone XS Max, we have the mute switch and volume rockers. Taking a look at the right side of both devices, on the LG Phoenix 4, there's nothing, and on the iPhone XS Max, we have the power button, which is also the Siri activation button, and we have the SIM card slot. Taking a look at the top of both devices, on the LG Phoenix 4, we have the noise-canceling microphone, and on the iPhone XS Max, we have nothing. And on the bottom of both devices, on the LG Phoenix 4, we have the microphone, we have the micro USB port, 
and we have the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. And on the iPhone XS Max, we have the speakers and we have the lightning port. But there is no 3.5 millimeter headphone jack on the iPhone XS Max. Taking a look at the backside of these two devices on the LG Phoenix 4, we have the camera, we have the power button, and we have the flash, and then also moving down to the bottom, we have the speaker grill. But on the iPhone XS Max, all we have is the dual camera module. All right, now that we've had a chance to go over the hardware of these two devices and to compare that hardware, let's now do a speed test between these two devices, doing some commonly done tasks. So we're gonna start off by starting the internet browser on both. So we're gonna do Chrome on the LG Phoenix 4 and Safari on the iPhone XS Max. So one, two, three, go. And it was near instant on the iPhone XS Max, whereas it took a little bit longer on the LG Phoenix 4. Let's now start up Yahoo on both of these devices. One, two, three, go. And it was much quicker here on the iPhone XS Max. Not surprising, really. And another thing, too, that you can kind of see here is how much more content shows up on the iPhone XS Max. You can see there is significantly more content here, and a lot of that has to do with the larger display, but also keep in mind that you're getting a higher pixel density here on the iPhone XS Max. So with both factors there, you're just overall going to be able to view more content here with the iPhone. Let's now pull up Engadget.com on both of these. So one, two, three, go. And Engadget was a lot quicker to load on the iPhone XS Max. So let's scroll down to an article here that we can start on both of these. So let's go one, two, three, go. And actually it's pretty close here. It almost seems like the LG Phoenix 4 was quicker at pulling up this article. But there we go. All right, and let's now, and for the final test here, let's start out the camera. So one, two, three, go. And it looks like the camera was quicker at starting on the iPhone XS Max over the LG Phoenix 4. So this concludes my comparison video between the LG Phoenix 4 and the iPhone XS Max. Of course, these two devices do not compete head-to-head, -head, but I thought this video would be an interesting chance for you to kind of see how a very low-end device compares to one of the most expensive and highest-end smartphones on the market. So, in my opinion, I don't think there's a huge deficit or uh, difference between these two devices as far as performance goes. Of course, you're going to get a much better experience with the iPhone XS Max, but still, I mean, really, like, Considering how much cheaper the LG Phoenix 4 is, you'd think it would be barely usable, but it really is a practical and usable device. So I think that if you really just need a phone to get the job done, and maybe you don't have a ton of money, I think you'll be fine with the LG Phoenix 4. But of course, if money's not a problem, or if you just have a bigger budget for your smartphone, then getting the iPhone XS Max might be a good option for you too. But all in all, both are great devices in their own ways, so props to both manufacturers. And if you want to get more videos, or if you want to see more videos about either of these phones, then definitely take a look at my YouTube channel as I have extended coverage on both of these. And I have a lot more comparisons with other smartphones on there, and other videos testing out different things, like gaming tests and different things like that. So all in all, there's a ton of awesome content on my channel, so make sure to subscribe to my channel, make sure to like this video, and if you have any questions at all, leave them down below in the comment section below. But thank you everybody for watching, this is Kevin Breeze here, comparing the LG Phoenix 4 to the iPhone XS Max, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, bye.